Uh, my work has made me really realize that I want to continue doing YouTube content, how much I really loved it. And uh, I have a brand new camera, the Canon R5. It is chef's kiss of a camera. It takes beautiful photos uh, and killer. Right now I'm shooting in 4K because I don't want to deal with the whole 8K thing, but it is a beautiful camera. Um, and for today's YouTube video, I want to go over some photos and a story I've been sitting on since June. So back in June, uh, my company sent us out to California for VidCon. It was the first time I'd ever been to VidCon. It was incredible. We put on a big party at a VidCon house party and we did a couple of other things. Uh, but I actually had my Saturday free and off. I had a free car, I had per diem, and I had the whole PCH in front of me. So this video, I kind of want to talk about all the photos I took, the adventure I went on while I was in California, and just really get back into the swing of things with YouTube. But I also had a ton of time in, to kill there, so I decided I wanted to go to a couple of places. I wanted to go to Santa Cruz, I wanted to go to Venice Beach, and I wanted to travel up the PCH towards Malibu and up the PCH of California coastline. And I did just that. I got in my car and I headed straight to Santa Monica. I've been to Santa Cruz. I've never been to Santa Monica, specifically the pier at Santa Monica, something I've always wanted to go to because it's just got that amusement park. It's got those beautiful ocean views. And I just wanted to spend the beginning of my day there. And so basically I just kind of walked around on the boardwalk and I brought my X Pro 3, my Fuji X Pro 3 with my 23 millimeter F2 point lens. And I kind of just walked the boardwalk and just took in all the sights and the photos that I could. I was lucky enough to, to stop and have some lunch. There's a, there's a great like Mexican restaurant at the very end of the Santa Cruz boardwalk. And I stopped and I just, I felt like I had to get myself a margarita and some guacamole and just sit there on the waterfront and just take in that moment in time that I was there. And while I was there, some Harry Krishnas came along and not only did I get a really good photo of a couple of them, but they also handed me a pamphlet for them, which I, I read and I thought it was very interesting. Not that I would get into it, but I just, I, I really enjoyed meeting them and seeing how fun and lifelike they were. <laughs> So I spent the rest of my time walking up the Santa Monica Pier, just snapping photos of the people that were there, the tourists, the locals, the fishermen, the vendors, and just really enjoyed my time on that beautiful, beautiful boardwalk. And next, I traveled in my car to the beautiful, beautiful Venice Beach, uh, a place well known and documented in a lot of film and TV shows. Um, and the first thing I wanted to do was something that I've known a long time about uh, in the Venice Beach area, which was hit up the skate park that was there. Because I, as a, as a younger skater, love skateboard culture and skateboard lifestyle. So I traveled over to the little skate park that they had there and spent some time there just taking some amazing photos of the skaters performing tricks and just hanging out and having a good time at that boardwalk.
uh, so when I was done, I started walking back to my car after I was done hanging around the skateboarders and everything like that. And on my way, I saw this, something caught my eye on the side. It was a car and you know, I love my classic cars. And this one really caught my eye because it was a bright pink old Mustang right outside this venue that was having like this like party slash concert. And I took some moments to stop and take some photos of it because I'd never seen a pink, hot pink Mustang from that generation in my life. So I knew I had to take some photos of it. So then when I was done with Venice Beach, I decided I wanted to, to drive up the world famous one, the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway, one of the most beautiful highways in America that runs right along the Pacific coastline, hence where it gets its name. So I got on there and I just headed towards Malibu. And as I passed through Malibu, I decided I wanted to stop at some point to get some photos. And I just stopped at this random like parking lot and right across from the parking lot, I could see in the distance in the water, surfers just hanging out and surfing. So I grabbed my camera, I grabbed my drone and I headed down to the water and I got some incredible video and some incredible photos of the surfers surfing and having a good time and also just some beautiful photos of a family celebrating a birthday and just people enjoying the beautiful beach. I see why people love California so much. So I hung out there for a little while, just grabbing as many photos as I could. And I wanted to head back to LA to see if I could hit up like a bar or a restaurant or meet up with the friend I knew that lived in LA. So instead of going back through the PCH, which I came from, I actually went up this mountain. I just followed the Google directions that were given to me. And as I got to the top of this mountain, I saw the most beautiful sunset I had ever seen starting to set over the water so i decided to pull over next to these people that were hanging out in this truck and just get my camera out and take some incredibly beautiful photos of the sunset and the water and just the, how the land juts out into the water it was just it was the perfect sunset end of that portion of my trip So when I was done with that, I wanted to hit one more tourist attraction while I was there because Saturday was really my last full day there before I had to fly back home to New York. So I decided I wanted to go to Griffith Observatory, which is a place I've actually been to before, uh, before the pandemic. And I wanted to go again and it was getting dark, but I wasn't worried about it because my purpose of going there was getting long exposure night photography because Griffith Park overlooks the entire Los Angeles area. And I wanted to get some incredible photos of that downtown area and of the Hollywood sign. And I'm happy to say that I got some incredible photos of both. And I, I was super thrilled with the results I got from my camera and from my time there. So that was, that was the end of my day. I headed back to my hotel in Anaheim, went to bed and got up the next morning and headed back to New York City uh, to go back to work and to just continue living. And this was back, like I said, in June. Uh, it is now oct almost October. Uh, so I'm going to start doing these YouTube videos up again. I'm going to try my best 
to keep to them because I need to start doing more content. Again, you can check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I also have a lot of stuff I put up on there. I'm just trying to be that content creator that I know I want to be. I have some great stories I want to tell, some amazing photos I've taken. I have over there a GFX 100S uh, that I borrowed from work that I took some photos when I went apple picking last week and also I'm going to be doing some portraits of a friend tomorrow so I'm going to use that as well video to come on that and my thoughts on that so stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed hit the like button remember to just shoot remember to just shoot I'm back I'll see you in the next one later